Jill Heiner. On the recent Blue Canyons expedition, I got a chance to use some amazing tools from Sunto. Tracking our route with my Sunto X10, my watch tells me we've traveled almost 600 miles from the Florida coast to a remote corner of the Bahamas called Acklands Island. Our singular goal to find and explore ocean caves, virgins as we call them, and leave our mark with a thin strand of nylon line while making careful surveys and hand-drawn maps. Cave surveys start really low-tech. We have to place knots in our guideline at precise measurements every 10 feet. We use this line as our yardstick to estimate distances, but it's also our safety line that will lead us home in the blackness of underwater siltouts. should have some music, shouldn't we? We need some music. We fill our reels, fill our tanks, and set out to find caves. On the first day, we find 12 caves and free dive to get a sense for the tidal exchanges that happen here. But we can't seem to get a feel for the flow, so we dive for a first recon. we find magnificent canyons that are siphoning water into the depths. These deep rifts are taking water from the Bite of Acklands like a continuously flushing toilet bowl. We very cautiously decide to make a free fall into Mother Earth. Plummeting down this first tunnel, I wonder whether we've made a good choice, but the sponge-covered walls are incredible like a fairy castle reflecting the light. The soft covering of rubbery sponges make it hard to find good tie-offs for our line. The tunnels are incredibly complex, leading us in many directions, but eventually seeming to settle on a northeast-southwest axis. We are mesmerized by the beauty as we string out our guideline, the flow seducing us further into the passages of our dangerous mistress. But what is beautiful is also deceiving, and the real cave diving begins. The sucking current, the silt, and the gliding low passages bring us back to reality. The further we head into this cave, the more the ceiling settles in on us, and with that, an increasing tidal exchange. It's time to turn around and get our survey. It's been said that if you don't survey a cave, then you simply haven't been there. It's a long job made easier with my D9 and my Viper Air that have digital compasses readable by my 46-year-old eyes. Even in the inevitable siltouts, I can read the display and get the job done. I follow Brian and Mark out of the cave and back to the most beautiful decompression stops you can possibly imagine.
end, we learned more about the tides and found an outflow window occurring only once per day for a very short period of time. But it was time to head home. Our trip netted over 8,000 feet of new exploration and a lot of smiles. We look forward to future visits back to this pristine corner of the Atlantic Ocean.